What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 40 and we're starting today's episode off here with a game against Liverpool away at Anfield in the Premier League. Coming on the back of that 1-0 victory against Swansea at Vicarage Road. And as you can see at the table right now as well, we're in third place. Liverpool are in fifth place. There are 17 games to go and we are seven points clear of both fourth and fifth, Arsenal and Liverpool. We've got 39 points. They've got 32 points. We're trying to pull away from the pack right now. We're on a pretty decent unbeaten run. Trying to pull away from those teams below us right now. But of course, coming into this game not going to be easy only a couple of days after the Swansea game so a few of the players were quite tight coming to this game well most of them were really coming into the game here at Anfield and of course we do remember what happened in the game at Vicarage Road earlier on in the season probably the game of the series so far that 3-3 free -free draw against Liverpool incredible game that was when Liverpool scored two late goals to make sure they would get themselves a point but the first chance of this game would fall to us that shot by Buffal going just over the bar and behind for a goal keep but in the 23rd minute we would indeed open the scoring through Michael Felivi but what on earth happened here I I do not know and I'm sure Jurgen Klopp will be tearing his hair out after this one because this was some shambolic defending by Liverpool. We win the ball back, get ourselves inside towards Buffal. The shot is blocked and then there's just a little bit of a hesitation by all the Liverpool players including Mignolet and it just drops to Felivi who just rifles the ball in and our 18 year old striker gets his fourth goal in the Premier League and opens the scoring to make it Liverpool nil, Watford 1. So poor defending but Felivi takes the chance. But in the 35th minute Loftus-Cheek does fantastically well here to uh, dispossess Dejan Lovren gives it to Felivi, the goal scorer who plays that wide towards our right back Neom. Neom on the ball, takes it around Omre Chan with the fake shot, keeps on going eventually plays it inside to Marco Ryan Taller and Marco the Magician who has four goals in the season, all of which coming in the Europa League, finally has his first goal in the Premier League as well and our Italian winger doubles the lead eight minutes before the break and makes it Liverpool nil, Watford 2 so great ball inside by Neom, it's been a long time since Ryan Taller has found the back of the net for us, quite a few games and it's his first in the Premier League as well. Mark the Magician opens up his Premier League account and makes it Liverpool nil, Watford 2. So what a first half we were having, looking so much better than Jurgen Klopp's side. In the 41st minute, Liverpool had their first real chance of the game. This shot by James Milner going just wide the post and behind for a goal kick. And another good chance from a free kick here in the 45th minute. Once again, Liverpool have one just outside our area. Once again, they try and offload the ball towards the runner, James Milner, who again goes for goal. This time his shot's on target, but Reed Val blocks it. Shelby gives it to Loftus Cheek, but does give the ball away with Neom here. It comes to Mertens inside towards Moreno. Liverpool give a chance to Lifefield. Moreno getting himself inside towards a shooting position. Keeps hold of the ball instead. Plays it back towards Omre Chan. His shot is blocked. Origi goes for goal but Butler makes the save and Loftus-Cheek gets the ball away. So at half time as you could see the, uh, the score was Liverpool nil, Watford 2. We were playing better despite Liverpool having the majority of the possession and also having the same amount of shots but one less on target. We had those two goals. We were looking better. We were looking more composed in front of goal as well but in the second half Liverpool had another good chance here to get themselves back in the game eight minutes in this would have been a very unlucky goal had it gone in tried to head the ball away with a teep there it hits Daniel Sturridge in the face and goes just over the bar and behind for a goal kick so still 2-0 and a few minutes later another chance for Liverpool this free kick is crossed into the box but Sacco's header goes wide and the French defender can't hit the target so still 2-0 to Watford but Liverpool came out of the blocks flying in the second half unlike in the first half when they were very slow to get going in the second half they were looking a lot better Milner going for goal there from range but a former City man puts that shot wide the post and behind for a goal kick and in the 71st minute, yet another chance for Liverpool. Had so many in the second half. Mertens gets onto the ball down the left-hand side and after some of the worst defending you'll ever see, gives it to James Milner in the centre of the area, who after a few attempts finally finds the back of the net and makes it Liverpool 1, Watford 2. So do not ask me what I was doing here with Joel Matip because I have absolutely no idea. Mertens makes mince me out of him, gives it to Milner and Milner finds the back of the net. So Liverpool 1, Watford 2 and I was thinking oh god, not again. Please don't let us throw away a two-goal lead against Liverpool late on in the game but in the 84th minute we had our first chance of the second half Neon picks the ball up here takes it around Moreno takes it around Coutinho takes it around Lovren wonderful run by our right back and Dejan Lovren takes down Neon and the former Southampton man gives away a penalty he was having a terrible game the former Saints defender was all over the place gave the ball away in the build up to our second goal was not looking solid at the back also gets himself a booking after this tackle which was the correct decision and the referee gives a penalty and a chance for us to make it Liverpool 1 Watford 3 and surely make sure we would secure the three points. So poor defending from Lovren, poor defending from Liverpool in general really uh, from this uh, from this play and Lovren taking down the arm in the area and the referee does call it right and gives us a penalty. So penalty to Watford. Troy Deeney, our regular penalty taker, missed one in the last game. He wasn't on the pitch for this moment. He'd been subbed off for Birch and Traore. He was the one standing over this penalty but I didn't let Traore take it. I gave it to Ruben Loftus-Cheek instead because he'd had a fantastic game. He was doing the work you don't see in a defensive midfield position. Constantly winning the ball 
ball back here. He started to build up for our second goal, and I feel like he deserved a goal in this game. He played very, very well, and he does get one from the spot here, smashing the boys to the top corner. His penalty rating may not be the highest, but it certainly didn't show there. A great strike by Loftus Cheek. Mignolet dives the right way, but he can't get to it. And just as the clock is about to go to the 90th minute, Ruben Loftus Cheek gets our third goal of the game and surely secures the point. So Liverpool won, Watford three. Loftus Cheek with his fifth goal in the Premier League and his first penalty for score scored for Watford as he makes it 3 1 to Watford. In stoppage time, Liverpool did have themselves a corner here. Milner crosses the ball in. Lovren flicks it on. Butler makes the save, but it falls to Sacco, who volleys the boys at the back of the net and makes it Liverpool 2 Watford 3. And I was thinking, God, no, not again, please. Surely we're not going to throw away this two goal lead like we did in the game at Vicarage Road later on as Sacco gets the volley here to find the back of the net and make it Liverpool 2 Watford 3. But fortunately for us, unlike the game at Vicarage Road, we wouldn't concede two late goals, just the one, and that was enough for us to hold on for the three points and make sure we claim an absolutely massive victory at Anfield. A huge win there that now extends the gap over Liverpool to 10 points, double digits for the first time this season, and I don't know whether we can get top four this season, but we're going to need games like this where, you know, despite Liverpool having a lot of pressure in this game, more possession, more shots, more on target, we get more goals and we get the three points. We need those games to fall for us this season. We need some luck. We need some good defensive effort. We need to make sure we close out those games. Unlike what we, what we were doing at the, uh, the start of the season, we do with this one. We get ourselves the three points, and it's a massive, massive win for us away at Anfield. Still following that, Balotelli once again declines his contract here. He doesn't want to come to Vicarage Road. He says he wants to stay at Liverpool, stay at Anfield, which I'm finding quite surprising because, you know, he's not getting played. He's not getting played in the game. He was out on loan last year at Milan. They haven't offered him a new contract, so why wouldn't you want to try your trade somewhere else? I'm not too sure. But either way, we'll have to wait and see. We offer him 100 grand a week. I'm not going to go any higher than that, though. If he doesn't accept 100 grand a week, then that's totally fine. But Torino did indeed match the 12 million pound counter offer for Charlie Austin, though. So Austin looks as though he's on his way to one of my former career mode teams. As you can see, we, we uh, reject a bid here from uh, Southampton for our goalkeeper, Jack Butland. Austin looks as though he's on his way to Italy after just six months here at Vicarage Road, which is, you know, fine, I suppose. I mean, you know, in Austin's defense, some players do take time to start, you know, hitting the ground a new club but Austin's had a lot of game time for us this season only scored four goals you know he just hasn't really cut the mustard for me you know again he may be one of those late bloomers if you will but to be honest I think maybe for 12 million pounds for a player we got for free for Austin it may be good to get him out the door early and uh, make sure we can make a profit on him and look to reinvest in other areas of the squad still Austin would start for possibly his final game for Watford in the second and final game of today's episode here away at the Liberty Stadium taking on Swansea for the third time in four games this game back in the FA Cup though, the FA Cup third round replay the game at Vicarage Road finished 1-1 Ashley Williams scored a stoppage time equaliser to send the game to a replay so coming to this one, Swansea will be looking to take the lead in this game and not come from behind to secure well, you know, it will be going to extra time in this game to finish the draw, but regardless, the first chances fell to Swansea, those shots going just off target and then the 45th minute, we had our first chance of the game here from a free kick Virgin Traore was standing over it and a good chance here for the former Chelsea man to open the scoring and make it Swansea nil, Watford 1 he goes for goal from range, but as you can see it goes just wide the post and behind for a goal kick so goalless at the half it was still Swansea nil Watford nil but in the 51st minute here just six minutes after the restart Lewis Cook gets on the ball and gives it to Leun back inside towards the former Leeds man who spreads the play out wide towards Dominic Iorfa flicks the ball on the air towards Nathan Redmond Redmond takes it round Tavenu gets himself inside here for a really good chance and Tavenu who conceded a penalty against us two games ago concedes another one against us here and once again we'll have a chance from the spot to score against Swansea so Tavenu who clearly can't keep his discipline when players are going into the box. Terrible challenge, and the referee awards a penalty, and it was the correct decision as well. I also flicked the ball on with the header there. Not surprised he won it at six foot four. Redmond takes it round Tabernu, and as he's catching, or he's trying to catch up with Redmond, he can't do so. He goes to ground. Redmond feels the contact and hits the deck. There wasn't actually as much contact as I first thought, but there was enough to bring Redmond down, and I think it was the correct decision. So penalty to Watford, and a great chance to open the scoring here from the spot. Charlie Austin playing possibly his final game stood up to take it, and he'd also score it as well. So Austin from the spot scoring on possibly his final game for the club makes it Swansea 
14-0, Watford won. He's got his hands to his ears. I've been criticising him, but, you know, to score on your final game, I guess that's one way of shutting me up. Still, good penalty from Charlie Austin. Puts it into the top corner. Goalkeeper route to the spot, and he does open the scoring as well to make it Swansea nil, Watford 1. So, it won't be a bad sign-off if he gets us into the FA Cup fourth round. He does make it 1-0 here and open the scoring as well. So, Swansea nil, Watford 1. Late on in the game, we were still leading by a goal to nil. Swansea really didn't do much at all in the second half, to be honest. And as Nathan Redman stood over this free kick 36 yards out, he goes for goal and puts the ball into the side netting, and he goes behind for a goal kick. And it was how the game would finish as well. Final score at Liberty Stadium, Swansea nil, Watford 1. So, Austin playing his final game, sends us through to the FA Cup fourth round, or probably playing his final game, sends us through to the FA Cup fourth round. Delighted with that, but again, only five goals this season. If he does end up going to Italy, I'm not going to be too disappointed. He hasn't really worked out for us, but even way, at least he scored us a goal in this game to send us through to the next round of the FA Cup. But that does it in the episode, guys, so thank you very much for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's episode of Career Mode, then please do leave a like, so it's much appreciated, and it really does help my channel out, and I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon.